Mr. Macrigiorgou, a new pointer. Another applause for Mr. Macrigiorgou. Uh, that's from Angles. Uh, I'm on full thyroid, so we're gonna deal with that. Anyone from Ireland here? No one? Oh, that's a bad one. Okay, hold on. I don't want to talk about that nation, okay? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm RG, I'm uh, the head of Managed Hyper Security Services for Mongo Systems, and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, cybersecurity. So let me get off this. To start with, is uh, one, one year, well, almost, from the first birthdays of GDBR, but uh, let me assure you that uh, this is not yet another GDBR presentation, so are not your mobiles, and uh, I think that it would be pretty uh, interesting as well. A few things about myself. Um, I, have a, uh, I have a bachelor's in computer science and master's in information security from uh, our web, which is another uh, university in Athens. I hold several certifications like GSSP, CISA, CISM, blah, blah. I mean, we're going to talk about uh, cybersecurity buzzwords uh, <coughs> in a bit. I'm uh, in IT since 2004, breaking through cyber from uh, 2013 onwards. Uh, I have worked in uh, several countries, including uh, Ireland uh, and, of course, uh, Athens. I've been deployed in a few more, and I'm a small distress uh, inspector as well. Uh, today's agenda that I will try to follow, the, our two cents as algo systems in uh, the, uh, the current cybersecurity scene, uh, the manual infusion automation, uh, as we said already, and uh, some tips and tricks for everyone like yourselves that uh, want to join uh, a company, an organization in a cybersecurity uh, position. So we'll start. That's the elephant. I know. Uh, I mean, uh, since uh, you do speak uh, English, uh, it's a very common, uh, a very common thing to say that IT is like the elephant in the room. Even in uh, an organization, an enterprise, a modern one like uh, like uh, these days, uh, unfortunately or not, uh, a lot of the times the IT is uh, the elephant in the room. So. That would make us, the cybersecurity guys, uh, the mammoth, which is actually a bigger elephant. And uh, another thing that uh, we should agree on is uh, what is commodity. Now, commodity, especially nowadays, is uh, for me falsely, uh, you know, perceived something uh, like that it's legacy, it's old by design, and needs to be replaced. Although commodity is something that uh, an organization has invested a lot of money, effort, even culture to adapt it, make the most out of it, and uh, continues to use it in uh, its business as usual. So for us in IT and therefore in cybersecurity as well, we need to embrace commodity, use it as a baseline, and then build everything on top of it. Now, going to the buzzwords, I mean, uh, you already know that in IT and especially in cybersecurity, uh, we use a lot of buzzwords like uh, .NET and a CryptoLocker and a ransomware and uh, yeah, and have an MSC InfoSec and CSSP and all this stuff. I mean, there are a lot of buzzwords, especially in the corporate world. You know, uh, many managers, senior managers, VPs, and stuff like that. That uh, cyber is something tangible, and we are here to solve tangible real-life problems, give tangible solutions, 
and protects the business as usual, which is the, the most important part of an enterprise. Uh, therefore, we say that uh, cyber enables both IT and OT to enable business. Uh, it's something that needs, you know, um, to be well explained that whatever relates to IT comes for the OT part as well. So, a modern industry uh, like combines these two environments, uh, these two environments, sorry, and all of them need to be protected in order to assist, yet again, the business as usual. But of course, we are not here as uh, the protector, like to make uh, someone's uh, life a bit miserable, you know, try to uh, just uh, to secure the user, secure the assets, and uh, make, making uh, everyone's life uh, difficult. Let's say, I don't know if, uh, if you're aware of uh, what MDM means, it's mobile device management. It's something that uh, we put on our uh, phones, especially in the corporate world, to keep them protected. That was like, that, that was last year. Uh, if you're trying to sell internally or externally something that is core cyber, that won't happen. So we're coming here uh, saying any application, any device. So availability uh, comes, uh, you know, in the same hands with security and yet again in the end of business. So another, another real life problem is too many logs. I mean, everything creates logs. Whatever solution is placed, where, uh, whatever device, everything creates logs. Uh, my friend before from the Snyder said, you know, the intelligence, all these devices yet again log. That, uh, this one is from a uh, non-DIA system. <coughs> and then it's practically unavailable, uh, not because it's gray out. So uh, in the past, we had a tendency to visit logs only post-mortem. Something happens, and then, OK, we try to dig in and see what happens. Now, with uh, <coughs> modern technologies, algorithms, with uh, team systems, we are here, and we are able to be proactive get logs in the real time, assess them, and actually understand what is close to happen, what is about to happen, and do something about that. Now, uh, how all these come into action on a modern, on a modern enterprise? Uh, even, even nowadays, yet again, uh, there are a lot of solutions in place, but they're more stagnant, like uh, they're perimeter-based, perimeter there is one person or one entity responsible end to end. The security tools in place for the ones that they are already a bit in the security, like uh, uh, early pen testers or uh, coders, they're, they're disconnected. There are a lot of them standalone, uh, rarely automated. And the whole effort, the whole process is IT driven, which is, of course, good, uh, but not optimal. Now, with my friend cycle here, everything goes swaps. So the dev, the, dev, the coders go to DevOps, then the sec guys, the security, go to SecOps, Sys to SysOps, and stuff like that. Oh, sorry. Cool. Uh, there are now possibilities, <coughs> and the capacity using APIs, everything creates logs, everything has APIs as well. Uh, using uh, languages like Python and Kubernetes, Docker environments can actually transform that. I mean, the digital transformation is a buzzword uh, for 2019. To ops-driven, to something that it is, uh, you know, API-driven. As, as we say, all the security tools are interconnected, so all the network, uh, the systems, and the knowledge is interconnected. Uh, it can be highly automated, and it should be. Us, the humans, the analysts, up to the, the managers, uh, the, they're here to do something a bit more creative, as we say. There is shared security responsibility. Believe me, that's an important part of the enterprise. Who deals with that? If something happens, who is uh, the one 
to go for it, who takes the blame and all stuff. And of course, now the, with the cloud, the boundaries are elastic, which means that uh, A to Z is not only here, it goes to the cloud, uh, the, I mean the workforce is rarely at the office, there are a lot of people uh, constantly traveling, maybe getting emails or getting their work done from a coffee place. So again, uh, agility. That is the cycle of uh, cyber security, like a, a complete uh, cyber view of what needs to be there so uh, an organization to be well protected. We have the assurance part, which is mainly vulnerability management and penetration test. All the professional service and support, uh, project-based uh, part, and of course the after sales, a good product, a good service is mandated by uh, a very good after sales support. The security operations center part, all the 24-7 care that uh, organizations uh, like us offer to the rest of the enterprise, instant management, defense and response. And of course, uh, the GRC, which is government's risk and compliance, which is the most theoretical part of what, what we're doing and what happens, that it still needs to be in place, you know, like a, a process uh, that needs to drive everything else. So, as long as all this coexists, we're getting closer to a more secure and complete environment. Uh, let's see now how real is all this. I mean, uh, you, see here, you see here some infographics from Gartner and Microsoft. Okay, it's a lot of boring. Uh, th the truth is that w we used to say that uh, cybersecurity is something for the future, but here, I mean, this era is, uh, is the future. And uh, it's good that we are going to save it and, and all stuff, but we need to save it together securely. And it is, it implies that a few of you would have to get a cyber security role within a modern enterprise. Nowadays, the cyber people get to become even, uh, you know, uh, high-end executives, like C-level executives, even the CISOs. Uh, we are sitting in the same table with, uh, with IT and uh, the rest of the organization. And uh, let's see now, I and mean, then in a more tech way, how we do it. We strike first, we strike hard, with no mercy. Uh, here is an example uh, using the Cisco, Cisco cycle system uh, on, on cybersecurity. Uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, you know, to understand all, all of these tags, but see how they are connected. I mean, we start from the events, identify uh, which uh, from these events are actionable, and, uh, you know, the threat behind them. We use the intel that all these tools empower into our organization, and then depending on the existing policy, <coughs> You know, we can have them correlated, giving uh, our organization the intelligence it needs, and then protecting the organization. In, in another view, we have here for the you know uh, for uh, the more uh, simple ones view uh, solutions that address uh, the web, like uh, proxy and URL filters, secure emails. Endpoint protection, identity service engines, next generation firewalls, just like the router you have at home, uh, secure DNS, and the intelligence behind of them, the stealth watch and the Taos platform. Again, uh, the added value here is that is everything works seamlessly together, no matter if myself I'm working on my desk, uh, in my office, or at home, or maybe I'm on vacation and I receive uh, an email on my iPhone. So it needs to be seamless and it needs to be always on. Now, going to uh, other systems, uh, that's the fundamental uh, of 
part of the cybersecurity solution. So uh, it's the cyber rain in reaction. Uh, we call that way uh, our enhanced SOC services. And it is uh, an, an IBM curator a security operation center that offers, of course, 24 seven monitoring. Uh, we act as an, as an MSSP for um, several technologies and solution. We offer managed vulnerability uh, assessments and of course, threat intelligence. And the reaction part, the react now, uh, is actually referred to the cyber response. So uh, nowadays it's not just important to say to somebody, look like uh, there's something wrong, you need to be able to solve it as well. Now, the takeaway, the first part of place, I mean, uh, if uh, you need to, you know, to hold on some things uh, from today, uh, this would be the first sum up here. Uh, we often say to our customers, let us play all the gigs you need. And we don't say it, you know, in a bad way. I mean, we are and we would be all the gigs that an enterprise need, no matter if we are from the customer side or uh, from, the, from the integrator side. The most important stuff will always be the business as usual. Without the business as usual, there is no business. With no business, no money, and you know, you get how it works. And of course, uh, as we, we would say some, you know, a few years ago, uh, for uh, uh, the community and uh, the non-Microsoft uh, operating systems, all that stuff, we need to go to an open architecture. Uh, we, we must be flexible, dynamic, and uh, you know, some more financial terms, we have to move from CapEx to OpEx to use everything and pay only what you use. I mean, imagine that uh, in, your, uh, in your everyday life, to be able to, to use everything that is at your disposal and only pay what you get. And of course, uh, a bit of a cyber preaching. Now, uh, especially from 2015 onwards, I have interviewed like more than 120, 130 people uh, for, uh, sev for several positions, mainly in the cybersecurity. So, I mean, if I have one thing to say here is that not everyone will become a pen tester, and that is fine. I mean, you know, we're, uh, we're having a job opening, two people come directly from uh, the university, we call them uh, Vanillas, and they come over and say, okay, you're offering me a job, uh, a position of uh, entry level analyst, and then they say, okay, but uh, I'll do it for like uh, maybe two, three months, or six months, and then I want to become a pen tester or something. Okay, okay. Uh, if uh, that is what you want to do, yes, I'm already a pen tester. Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, do you know, can you write auxiliaries in Metasploit, which is a, a pen test tool? So, no, so you're not a pen tester. I mean, there are plenty of positions, there are plenty of openings, even in strict cyber. Uh, some of them, they're tech-based, some of them, they're managed-based. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, our, uh, our giveaway would be, you're finishing up a school or a bachelor's or master's or, or something similar, and you need to get the experience. So uh, let business and the reality shape the way that uh, you know you understand the business from the position you are now and of course we're here to help for all mainly uh, you know the Greek candidates and international of course hrbalgosystems.gr thanks Emil